TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the September 13th, the magical, magnificent Monday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, hey, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in. Phone lines are open, 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, hey, we've got you covered there, too. Go ahead, send me an email. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading of that email, please put radio show question in, in our Tiger's Den. Any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on a magnificent, marvelous Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Les Show. Right now, all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The uh, weakest indice out here is the NASDAQ 100. It's up uh, seven points. That's basically flat. The Dow, not flat. Up 248. The S&P is up nine. Russell's up 16. Semi's 30. Tranny's 40. You've got gold up $2.70. Silver is... Uh, I got September out here. Sorry about that. Give me a moment. Not sure why that happened. But uh, you got silver trading down 11 pennies. She's trading out at 23.79. Light tree crude is up 70 cents at 70.42. Natural gas is up about 29 cents right now. Another big move, 6% trading out at 5.23. And the 30-year treasury up 16 ticks. She's trading at 164 and 25.30 seconds. Dollar-wise. To the upside, the leaders are Alphabet or Google up 43 bucks, iRhythm Technology 16, that's 34%, Anthem Inc up 14 or 4%, Five R International up 14 or 8 buckaroonies. To the downside, it's Chipotle up 42 bucks, that's a little over 2%, IDEX Laboratories $26 or 4%, Moderna down 21 or 5%, Bionitech down 20 or 6%, Athena Bitcoin Global down 19, 57%, that's taken a schnockers. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at, no request thus far so where do we begin where do we begin let's begin by taking a look at i think bigger picture so to do the bigger picture for the four equity future contracts that is taz cindy uh we can take a look at the es mini that's your left hand panel and what you can see right now is prices traded back into its bullish structured profile so we've got a valid td9 count a key level of support is being tested and that's at that 4452 level. So, Cindy, if you were to see two consecutive closes below the bottom of a bullish structured daily profile, that would signal to you and I price would be headed lower. Now, lower to where? That'd really be, I'll pull over this one chart here. Let's pull over this. This is the ES Mini as well. What we know about the ES Mini is it topped with a TD9 count at wave number seven at Rose Mintum indicator signal triggered, but we've never gotten the bearish reversal candle. Uh, so you've got several different patterns out here. As far as answering the question, if price closes below the bottom of that daily profile, where should price head to? That would that's easy. That's the breakout level. That's 4426. If price closes below 4426, that's telling us that we've got a change in trend. Now the next support level for it would be 4355. So watch the current bottom of its daily profile. It's a, it's a level that should hold, and if it does hold, you should expect a rally or a bounce. 
And that rally could take us all the way up to the 44.98 level, the top of the daily profile. If we take a look at the next panel, that is inside the NQ. Price closed below the bottom of its slightly bullish structured profile on Friday. Trading below that level today, that is a signal of a change in trend, or that is a signal of lower price. Now, lower price to where? The NQ also has a TD9 breakout pattern. And that says that price maybe it's going to be bar number four today, or it looks like it will be. That says price could be targeting the 15076 level. That is a TD9 breakout area. Now, in the case of the NQ, it's got both the TD9 count top, Rose Mintum indicator signal out there. Uh, and what other areas do we look at for the NQ? Well, it turns out that the NQ is forming a new weekly profile. I'll switch over to our weekly set of panels out here. And so before price is going to get to 15076, it has to contend with 15309. What's 15309, Steve-O? That's the top of its new bear structured weekly profile that is attempting to form. I say attempting to form. I'm using Stevie's advanced Doppler tools out here. The numbers are real. We just don't know if the pattern's going to take hold or not until week's end. But right now we go with the right now we go with the information we have. And so the level of support for the NQ, not that much further below where it's traded out here. So 15,309. If we take a look at the Dow, we'll just stick here, stay here with the Dow, because the Dow really has a consolidation pattern with inside its weekly profile. So its key level of support to be watching and observing is 34,392. That's to the downside. To the upside, it's 35,354. Now, the Dow is uh, behaving pretty well today. We'll go take a look at the intraday chart, see if there's any signals there. Back to the daily time frame. And on the daily time frame out here, by the way, the Dow is below uh, for now what would look like three consecutive sessions below the bottom of its daily profile. In the case of the Russell 2000, this could be day number two below the bottom of its profile. So where are its targets? Well, one of the targets would be its breakout level. So the Russell, the ES, and the NQ each form TD9 count tops. In the case of the Russell 2000, its breakout level is 2165. So 2165 is a downside target. That's one downside target. Another downside target, if price were to close below that, would be the bottom of its larger consolidation. As we expand out the daily time frame chart, you will see the large consolidation pattern. And whichever way this breaks, that offers us a very large measured move. So again, a close below 2165, I'm not saying that's going to happen. That would signal a move down to the bottom of the consolidation. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, for the Russell, we'll see that price, in essence, is consolidating with inside its weekly profile, very similar to the Dow. That range is 2149 to 2322. So that's the message of the market profiles for both the daily and the weekly time frame. Let's go take a look at some of the intraday charts, see if there's any kind of signals out here. Let's just look at the 30 minute time frame. As we switch over, take a look at the 30 minute time frame. In the upper left, you're going to see the ES mini. In the case of the ES mini, we didn't have any kind of a uh, topping signal this morning as price got up. In fact, uh, if price had closed above a bear structured profile uh, for two consecutive bars, and then it gave up the ghost. And it gave up the ghost, and price moved right back to that TD9 breakout level, which has held the day. And that's at the 4450. So from an intraday standpoint, the area that you're looking at is uh, for to the downside – for prices, you'd want to see two consecutive closes below 4450. That probably brings into play some of the targets we looked at uh, earlier. If we look at the NQ, I don't have a, well, I take that back. The bottoming signal inside the NQ this morning was wave number seven. That's letter G, but that didn't hold was we got to a lower low. So I don't have any kind of bottoming pattern or signal inside the NQ. If I look to, so we went to the, uh, we'll just look at the Dow. Dow equity future contract, strong like bull, forms a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. Uh, when the ES and the NQ and the Russell 2000 were selling off, the Dow was not. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So it's the intraday, the 30-minute time frame charts that we're looking at right now. I believe we were looking at the Dow, the YM lower left-hand corner out here. And uh, right now, what price is doing, it's going to come back and it's going to test 34,669. That is the bottom of its bullish structured profile. Dow has been the uh, strong link out here today. And if price closes below 34,669, certainly two consecutive bars below that, uh, price should revisit the lows from last Friday, the lows from overnight. Um, or last night. Was that the low from last night? Give me a second here to get my, where is that? That was it. Uh, no, that was at Friday. So that was going into Friday's close out there. Um, we had a, we didn't have an actual lower low this morning, I don't think. Did we? Uh, 34.882 and this was 34. 34,481, yeah. Uh, so in the Dow, so watch that because if price does close below 34,669, the leader out here uh, of the four equity futures contracts may be generating a, uh, a total failure a signal for us. In the Russell 2000, um, you know, what I don't really have is uh, it, look, price is just trading with inside its bearish structured profile. So much like you'd watch the bottom of that 30-minute profile inside the uh, YM, you'd be watching the 224160 level inside the Russell 2000. If price closes above that, that's a suggestion to us that it wants to make a move to 2263, its TD9 breakdown area. So, how do I summarize the short term time frame charts out here? Uh, excellent. The only way I can really summarize this is the only valid bottoming patterns that have held up on the 30 minute time frame uh, is the ES uh, mini out there. That's that's really all that I can say. In the case of the uh, the, the Dow, the Dow's held up. That's road momentum. It's held up actually better than ES. So watch that 34,669 level. So speaking of the Dow, I'm sorry to kind of mumble there. A uh, question inside the Tiger's Den, and this is from uh, John. And John is asking the questioner, basically just saying, hey, Steve-O, um, 
you're not placing and it really a question you know are, are, how come you're not placing any weight to find your seasonal cycle which points uh, lower into October and John there's really only one reason that I can uh, come up with and it's this reason here and that is we're going to take a look at the Dow the Dow which has been the weakest so I'll say the Dow has been the weakest from this standpoint I'll come here to the weekly time frame charts um, and we can see when I say the weakest because price inside the YM has pulled back to test, in essence, the bottom of its weekly profile, 34,392. Now, price has only gotten down to a low of 34,482. So it's not like it's an exact test. It's 90 points away, but close enough with regard from a profile standpoint. So that's a key level of support. Why do we know that that's a key level of support? Excellent question there, too. We know that it's a key level of support because as we take a look at just past historical information, here you can see I'm pointing to with this red arrow on the left-hand side, we have both a close below a bottom of a daily profile and weekly profile. That weekly profile took place on February 24th. Once we got that, we got a change in trend signal out there. So you have to close below both. So fast forward to where we're at today, and price hasn't taken that level out. Now, if we're really going to, from a seasonal standpoint, the markets, that is, when I say we, if the markets are really going to head lower, but Dow is going to have to close below 34,392. Now, on a weekly basis, what also took, now I'm showing you the daily time frame here, but on a weekly basis, what else took place inside the Dow besides not busting through the bottom of its weekly profile? Excellent question, John. And here is the answer. And the answer is that last week was bar number two, of a consecutive weekly close below the prior bar. So I don't want you to get confused with my TD9 count. I happen to be using that tool to generate this. And so sometimes you'll see multiple ones and multiple twos. Uh, it's just simply because of how I've got to run this program here. It's not clean because I'm using another tool. But what this does do for us, this shows us how many consecutive closes. Now, this is a weekly chart coming up since the March 2020 bottom. And so what we typically have seen here, all with the exception of one, have been two bar moves lower. We had one that was a three bar move that was back here in the October time frame, kind of where we're at now. Now, we're not in October. We happen to be in uh, September out here. Well, I guess that was a September. No, that was in October. That was your October bottom back in uh, 2020 on a move lower. So what we have, all that I can say for sure right now, John, is what we have is a two bar knee-jerk reaction, very much like we've had. And there are many other times, these other two bars out here, um, especially the, the most recent one, uh, which was back in the uh, June uh, time frame. Everybody thought the markets were going to crash and move to the downside. So when I say crash, I don't mean crash, crash. I mean just move lower. In fact, you know, price closed right at the, on that week. It closed right at the bottom of the uh, week, very similar to last week. Hmm, something to think about. So I'm not saying, I'm saying the potential that uh, this is nothing more than a two-bar knee-jerk reaction, I would be disingenuous to just simply sit here and say, hey, you know what? The seasonal cycle is in place, folks, and this market is going to head lower into October. That may be the case because we certainly have daily topping signals out there, maybe even a couple of weekly topping signals. But look, this is really all about understanding where support and resistance is. When markets are moving lower, we don't really care too much what we do, where resistance is. But at this stage here, what we really care about is where is support. And so, yeah, John, I think that the now it, what's nice is we're in the early part of September. It's only the 13th. And if we do see a weekly close below 34,392, then that would really signal to you and I that a move lower is underway. So those would be the reasons, or that is the reasoning, or the logic or lack of logic, but it's Stevie logic, as to why I'm a bit cautious about the seasonal cycle out there. So I hope that helps you uh, out, helps, hope that helps you understand what it is that I'm taking a look at, and thank you very much for the uh, question. Uh, let's go to another question that has come in here. This one coming in from uh, Rich. Rich says, uh, could we uh, take a look at CRWD, I think that's CrowdStrike, and XBI. You own both and you're long. So absolutely, absolutely we can. So we'll just begin by taking a look at CrowdStrike. And what we can see now today is prices below the bottom of its bullish structure daily profile. And that daily profile level is 261.28. So from a just rich, strictly from a profile standpoint, this would suggest that price might target 218.24. We're not going to stay there, but that is a possibility. Now, what Stevie's going to do here, 
for you is we're going to switch over. I know right now you see my ugly mug. My apology for that. But we're going to do is we're going to switch over and take a look at our eight panel chart for CrowdStrike. And here you're going to have the monthly in the left. So this way we can do one visual. I realize it's smaller chunks, and maybe sometimes it's not as easy to see. Uh, however, here you get the bigger picture. So let me explain what we're looking at. So, Rich, with regard to CrowdStrike, what you should really be looking at is the daily time frame. I'll just expand this chart out for you. And what you're going to notice is that today is going to become bar number what? Exactly. This is going to become bar number eight of a TD9 count. Now, that says... You, pref you know, you prefer to see this take place above a key level, a, a level of support. So you don't you're getting both a bullish and a bearish message here. Now, it can't be bullish yet because bar number nine would have to complete. But you have the potential of a TD nine count bottom forming and an A to B equals CD to the downside. I can show you that pattern as well. Maybe we'll do that when we go back to the black background charts out here. And bar number eight. So here's what you're going to do. You're still long. I would stay long out here. I don't know where you're long from, but I would stay long. And uh, you might want to add to the position if you get a bullish reversal candle. Because then you could have, potentially have at this stage, a TD9 count bottom and a buy the D point, which turns into really a Gartley buy pattern out here. But the daily time frame says, look, that may not take place until Wednesday. or may not take place at all. But you've got that as a potential signal. Now, as we roll up and we take a look at some of our intraday charts out here, the only intraday chart with a bottoming signal this far, thus far is a TD9 count bottom inside the 30-minute chart. So what does that tell us about CrowdStrike? What that tells you and I is price should make its way to 256.94. Now, 256.94 is the top of its bullish structured 30-minute profile. You notice how what's missing here is the center line? Well, the center line happens to be right at the bottom. That's at 250.09. And if price rich can stay above its oscillator and change line, which is what it's trading above right now, that's at 254 uh, even Steven. If price can stay above that, you should see a run to 256.94. If price can close above 256.94, then you're looking at a run back to 267.97. And that could be a signal of bar number eight. But bar number nine still has to come complete out here. So we really don't have enough information until tomorrow. With regard to a weekly time frame chart, and this is where you get a little bit of danger, so you want to watch, really keep your focus on the daily. The weekly chart last week confirmed a road momentum indicator top. It went ahead and confirmed that by generating a three bar, a three bar evening star pattern out here and a price below a close below the oscillator and change line. So that says that price should make its way back to its prior swing point. That prior swing point anywhere between the 227.25 and 243.46 level out there. Uh, so the weekly says, you know, may want lower price. And that's why, Rich, your focus is going to be on the daily time frame. Your question was, hey, you're long. You wanted me to take a look at it. We did that. You're long both. Is there any other signal that I can see out here? And the answer is no, I don't see that. The next symbol you wanted to look at is XBI. Now, let's just see how quickly this eight panel chart here will populate. I have a number of things. I did turn a few things off in the background. So that's not too bad. That's fairly speedy. Uh, we still have got about five charts here, though. Maybe I spoke too soon. There we go. So we'll take a look at XBI. If you go to the monthly time frame, Rich, TD9 count top, price pulling back and testing support, the top of its uh, day, of its monthly profile. 123.97 says watch that. The weekly chart, price is testing its green oscillator and change line. As long as it remains above that, that's bullish and says move to the 139 level. You have a TD9 count on a daily basis for XBI. Price has done what? Pull back and has tested and rejected its green oscillator and change line. It remains bullish. If price can close below that line, I mean, it could today. That would signal move back to 127.47. But if price stays above it, you've got a bullish signal out here. TD9 count on the 195-minute chart. That has an A to B equal CD to the downside. That confirmed with a bullish hammer candle. That says price wants to move to about 133. What other signals? I don't have any. Well, the 15 minutes got a TD9 count. But price is pulling back and testing support. That's the bottom of its 15-minute profile and its oscillator and change line. So if this level holds, this level being... 132.06, um, then, uh, then then even that is uh, bullish. So with regard to XBI out here, just be cautious. You know, watch the daily time frame chart. That may give you the best signal out here as to whether price is going to make its way down to the 127.47 level. So, Rich, thanks so much for writing in. Folks, we'll be back in just a few.
Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. So the ticker symbol we're now taking a look at is Air Arbutus Biopharma Corp. Ticker symbol is A B U S. This is for Dan inside the uh, Tiger Stand. And Dan, if you're wondering where your resistance level is, I don't know if you're long this, uh, uh, but if you are, uh, your resistance level is 475, and it's clear as day. Uh, and that is looking at the uh, monthly time frame chart. And you remember the body of a candle is the essence of price. It's not really what you want to hear because we're talking about a monthly bar. That means we have to wait to a monthly close out there to have any kind of confirmation of a breakout or not. But if you do get a monthly close, certainly two consecutive, but at least one monthly close above 475, that would signal a move back to the upside out here. Now, on Friday, it looks like, uh, Friday looks like a big move, big move out here. Big gap to the upside. There was big volume behind this move. When I say big volume, like 20, I don't know, 30 million shares, something like that, uh, when it normally probably does about 2 million. So big move there. As far as other signals and tops or bottoms or anything, the only thing we've got is a 65-minute chart. And the 65-minute chart shows a TD9 count top that has nothing, led to nothing more than a consolidation within that profile. So I'm not sensing, I'm not seeing. Now, on the daily basis, we can make wave number seven, rogue wave uh, possibility out here. Um, and maybe price is going to pull back, but I'm not seeing any real key levels of support being broken yet to the uh, downside on the intraday charts. And that's why it's kind of hard for me to suggest, you know, price is going to move back to, say, 372 or fill the gap or things along those lines. So your real level of resistance, though, that price is going to need to close above is the TD9 breakdown level 
a 475 on the monthly time frame chart. And I think that's the beauty for you and I, really, Dan, to be able to take a look at the eight different time frames out here. So we could really, and each one's going to give us a different picture, right? Shorter term is going to tell us, you know, it may not necessarily impact the weekly or the monthly uh, much out here, but just simply gives us a feel for what's going on. So I hope that helps you out with regard to ABUS Arbitus Biopharma uh, Corp out there. Um, let's take a look at uh, Apple. This is going to be for Hector and the fuel injector. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, what Hector's actual question is out here. Whoops, where did that go? Uh, right here, Apple is building cause to uh, juice through the 145 support level, and I believe it's happening today. So we'll take a look at that. Can you spend, uh, can you please do a live look at Apple on the 15 minute? Well, just so uh, happens that we can very easily because that's one of the time frames that we've got in the lower right hand corner here for Apple. So let's first take care of Apple's 15 minute chart for Hector. And what do we have out here in that case? Well, we had a TD nine count pattern, Hector, that formed on Friday coming into the close. It was the bar following bar number nine. That led to an immediate gap up this morning. But as we take a look at a 15-minute chart and try to understand why did price stop at 150.64, it was because of that TD nine count pattern. So in order for Apple to give you some kind of signal that it's getting ready to move to the upside, you'd want to see the first key level of resistance fail, 150.64. Right now, we just have just kind of a sideways consolidation type move after the news that came out last week about the lawsuit. That's that big wide ranging bar to the downside. Ever since then, what we've seen Apple do is just simply trade sideways. So that's what's going on on a 15 minute time frame. As we look to its other time frames out here on Friday, Apple did close below the bottom of its daily profile. And if it takes out Friday's lows, that would suggest a move to the 145.41 area. Now, 145.41 is the center of its bearish structured weekly profile. That price did close above. If it's only a counter trend move to the downside, then Apple should find support at 145.41. You had thrown out a figure. I'm just going to go back to your email, 145 support area. So it's not taking out the 145 support area, but if it did, then we'd be looking at a move back to about 138.54 or even 127.07. On a monthly basis, no topping signal is in place. On a weekly basis, last week did generate and confirmed a Rhodes momentum indicator top as a result of its bearish engulfing pattern that is out there. On the shorter term time frames, I don't really have anything else other than that 15 minute. So Hector, I hope that that helps you out with regard to Apple. And I hope you too have a uh, marvelous Monday. Thanks so much for writing in. Uh, no other questions that I see thus far. And I hear the music. That means we're about to go to a break. So give us a call at 877 6648 or go ahead send me an email steve at tfnn.com please put radio show question in that subject heading we'll be back in just a few moments Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. 
This weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Uh, folks let's go out to uh, brent in martinez california brent thanks for calling thanks for holding how are you how was your weekend i'm doing great steve how was, how was your weekend i was uh, it was not enough end in the uh, weekend would like to have uh, seen it uh, continue but you know i love this this is my favorite time of the year brent because you got saturday with all the college football that's a beautiful thing. The U.S. Open, one of my favorite uh, tournaments, uh, the uh, the tennis side. So that was wonderful. The the, the women's match, and, you know, would have liked to have seen uh, um, uh, Jokovic uh, have gotten beyond the third set out there. And then you got the NFL. I mean, it's a it's a wonderful time of the year for Stevie. So sorry, but uh, uh, I know you wanted to take a look at Conformis Inc. CFMS, I believe, having a, a super day with some big volume. Uh, how can I help you here? You kind of summed up what I was going to ask you about. And I just was curious if it had that really quick shot up to 195. And so maybe you can look at some shorter term, you know. I mean, it was literally up there for seconds. So it was probably on a one-minute chart would show that it didn't hold up there. But it does okay. have, you know, this area that it's contending with around the buck 70 that has surpassed and has volume. So. Yeah, get your thoughts on it. Yeah, so, you know, from a profile, just a flat profile standpoint, uh, you're above the top of the daily, which was 169. You're above that with volume, taking out a swing point that had some decent volume, I think. Yeah, that was a swing point from August 4th. That had 9 million shares. You're already at 6.5, though, today. Um, you're above the weekly profile. You're above the monthly profile. This could be three months in a row. So everything with regard to conformis is suggesting that longer term it wants to go make a move to the 457 level. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to change screens here, Brent. We're going to go to the eight panel set of charts. And on the eight panel chart, set of charts on the monthly starting in the upper left, that's where the 457 comes from. You can see the TD9 count bottom that formed. Now, that was a back in uh, 2020, March 2020. So longer term, that's the uh, price target. On a weekly basis, this is going to form bar number nine, or appears that it will form bar number nine of a TD9 count. So weekly could be suggesting that this week or next is at least a short-term top. I don't see the signal on the daily yet to suggest that it's this week, at least, um, at least not yet. I don't see that signal. It hasn't uh, formed out here. The intraday charts, I don't see any topping signals. I mean, I could probably draw in some A to B equals CD patterns. I'm sure that I could do that. But otherwise, prices above profiles, the oscillator and change line. So everything here looks really, it looks really good. You know, is this a uh, one of your longer term type positions? Uh, we've talked about it. I, I, uh, I've been in and out of it a couple of times, and now I'm at. Uh... I have 6,000 free shares in it just because I've been able to 
I started out with 10,000. I sold off uh, a certain amount initially and, and was able to keep 4,000 free. Then I bought back in with another, you know, up to 10,000, sold off a portion of that again, where then I could keep 6,000 free. So that's where I'm at with this. I mean, the day to day stuff is not that important. I think overall it can go up higher, but I just, yeah, so it's nice to just kind of see, get your analysis and where we're at. It, it, what would, what would you, what would you cons- what would you what would it take to get you to exit the position? Oh, I mean, I have to really break down and probably go below, like go down to like a dollar or something, and it might just okay. call it good okay. and get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, hey, the good news is I don't have any kind of signal that suggests that that's going to happen. So we're we're ways from that taking place out there. Uh, you know, price is going to have to bust through a bunch of uh, uh, key support levels. So it, it looks good to me, Brent. Uh, the charts suggest, hey, pay attention to the weekly because of its potential TD9 count. And then that says, well, pay attention to the daily. Well, I, I did, and that's not looking bad at all. And so then the only thing is, if it does start to break down, you know, why don't you get back in touch with me? We'll just take a look at some short-term support levels and see how it's doing. But otherwise, this this looks very good. Yeah, it seems like it's acting all right. And, uh, yeah. yeah, it's a little easier to kind of let it play out when I, the position I'm in. So that's helpful. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, anything else I can do for you, Brent? I think that's it. Just have yourself a wonderful day and, and a great rest of your week. And thanks Excellent. again for your help. Uh, you bet. Always, always. So that was Brent in Martinez, California. We had a question that came in earlier. Somebody had called in, then they had to get off. I believe it was Jim. And Jim was looking for an entry into gold and the uh, GDX. So let's change some panels out here. Let's get back to the black background screens, the e-signal screens for a moment. And let's go take a look at my uh, gold charts out here. So let's look at daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly timeframes out here. So, Jim... When we take a look at the daily, here's what we know. We know that gold completed a buy the D point. It did a three river morning star pattern back here in the trading days of um, August 1st. I'm sorry, August 9th, 10th, and the 11th. So there's your bullish pattern. Price moves up, finds some resistance at the top of its daily profile. Now price is just consolidating with inside this profile box. So where would you want to enter a long trade? Well, on a, on a, it would be a test of support, the bottom of the profile. That's at 1786. Price is trading right now at 1791. So that's a possible entry area. If we look at the weekly chart, it too formed a buy the D point, generated a nice bullish camera candle at a prior breakout uh, level of support. And now price is just trading with inside its weekly profile. So if price closes below 1786, two consecutive closes, then your entry area would be 1772. Uh, the bottom of its bullish structured weekly profile. If price were to close below, certainly two consecutive closes, but just a weekly close below the bottom of that bullish structured profile, 1772, you know, then that would say, boy, being long at this stage here would be wrong. But that's not the message right now at 148 in the afternoon on September the 13th. So for gold, if you're looking for an entry point, you're basically here. It's between 1772 and 1786. So I hope that helps you out. Now, what I will also do is uh, let's go take a look at my eight panel charts here for gold. Give me a moment to try to get there. And then we'll change screens. Here we go there. Here we go here. And one last touch of a button. And now we're at our eight panel gold contract screen. So here's what gold didn't do today. There was a little bit of a rally. Where did that rally take us? Well, it took us to TD9 breakdown resistance levels. 60-minute chart, that's at 1798.10. I'm sorry, 30-minute chart, 1798.10. 60-minute chart, 1798.60. The next one would be the 120, 1804.40. Those are levels, Jim, that you really need to see gold close above to suggest that there really is some kind of bottom, or at least to run back to the 1817, maybe even 1836 area. And so that hasn't transpired. Um, so we've just got a lot of a sideways move. Your next question was, well, what about the GDX? So with regard to the GDX, let's go back to our eight panel set of screens out here. Let's change our CFMS to the GDX. Now that's gonna take just a few moments to populate, but what's important here is Jim is asking really the right questions. 
Because if there's going to be a bottom in gold, there should be a bottom inside the mining equities. And as we take a look at the mining equities out here, the GDX has a valid Rhodes Mentum indicator bottom. That uh, confirmed right here when price had gapped up, and it also created that Three River Morning Star pattern even on the GDX. Price has to take out that low, that low from August the 20th. That is below the price level of 30.69 to negate that signal. So the offset earned change line, where price did close below that on Friday, price is back above it today. We'll finish this off when we get back from this break. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Be back in just a couple moments. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. We were taking a look at the GDX before we went into that breakout here for Jim. And, and so, Jim, on a 30-minute time frame, I'll just expand out this screen out here. You had a nice TD9 count pattern that uh, formed this morning, actually closed going into the uh, close on Friday. You had a nice uh, move up and a gap up, and price was able to take out its TD9 resistance level, 31.99. So on a short-term basis, this is the first indication that there could be a change in trend inside the GDX. Of course, it's going to need gold and silver to participate in this. I don't have a reason why price is pulling back other than just simply looking to the left and seeing that this is a resistance area, a prior resistance area. So that's plain as we can see. Now the question becomes, if price pulls back in the GDX, 
tests and rejects the 3208 area. That's the oscillator and change line. That could actually be set up the C point of an A to B equals C to the upside. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen just yet. I'm saying that is a possibility that is out here. What I am saying is that the 30 minute chart is giving you the first signal of a potential bottom out here. And we just have to see how this plays out on this pullback. Should it continue to pull back and test the oscillator and change line? The other intraday charts show similar type patterns out here. Uh, but it's really gold that we looked at that is just kind of stuck in the mud out there. And so if it's stuck in the mud, so too, in essence, is the uh, uh, GDX. So, Jim, I hope that that helps you out. Uh, there was, uh, was there another question out here? Did I not get to something? Um, mm. Oh, you know what I, what I would do is I would suggest this. Let me get over here. And if I lost my train of thought, uh, my apology. Jim, what I would really suggest, I'm going to try to change screens here real quickly while we just have just a few seconds. But what I would suggest that you do is go take a look at the uh, instruments inside the GDX. For example, here are basically the top eight weighted instruments out here. And look for bottoming signals there. Look for the strong instruments here if you're looking to go into the uh, GDX. Folks, stay tuned. You've got two more great hours up. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien, he'll bring us on home from 3 to 4. I'll be back with you on Terrific Tuesday. Have a magnificent, marvelous Monday. Thanks, folks. Building wealth trading in the stock